In this video, I will be showing you how to handle deposits held in a custodial scheme when integrated to zero. The first thing to do is to set up a fake custodial scheme account in Arthur. So we do this by going to financials and then going to bank accounts. If we go and add bank account, we can create a, custo a custodial bank account here. For this situation, I'm just going to type in DPS control. As this actually won't be a real bank account, don't worry about entering the details. Once you've done that, click save. So the next step is actually to go into zero and create a DPS control account there. We then will need to map these two together. So firstly, find your way to zero. So now we're in zero, we're going to have to add this new account. So go to ac accounting and then chart of accounts. From here, you can click add account. Now you can fill in the details similar to what you did in Arthur. So make sure you select the account type as current liability. And then you can make up your own code. I'm going to call this control account DPS control, but you can call it whatever the name of your custodial scheme is. doesn't really matter. There will be no tax on this account and make sure you click show on dashboard watch list. And also it's very important that you click enable payments to this account. Then click save. Now you've got to find your way back to Arthur. The next step is to map these two together. So go to financials, then click go to zero screen. Now you can find mapping bank accounts. And if you select the bank account next to DPS control account, you can actually see the zero DPS control account as well. And make sure you save that. Now that's all set up. So the next thing we need to do is to actually use this in action and add a tenancy with a DPS. Now we've created our DPS accounts, we're going to actually see how this works in action. So first of all, I'm going to have to register a deposit that I've not already done. The tenancy started this month, but I've not regist registered any deposit so far. So if I find the tenancy, and then go to statement, and then I'll change the to statement to tenant deposit statement. I'll click add transaction. And as you would always do, I'd add a registered deposit charge. So as normal, fill in all the details. And then click save transaction. So the deposit charge is now on the tenant deposit statement. So the next thing we'll need to do is to actually go to the zero screen and sync this transaction to zero. So then we can reconcile it. Now the sync is complete. We can actually find our way to zero and reconcile the transactions. So go to zero and find the relevant bank account and click reconcile. The first thing to reconcile is the deposit incoming from the tenant. As you can see, this has already come from Arthur and we can reconcile this. Now the next transaction to reconcile is the transfer to the DPS. In order to reconcile this transaction, we use the create function. So who will be the name of the tenant? And the account will be your DPS account or whatever custodial scheme dummy account you created in zero. The why is just a description to help you identify.
Once that's done, click OK. As you can see, this is now, both transactions have now been reconciled. This is how you use Arthur and Xero together to use custodial schemes. It must be noted, however, that if you are using historic deposits, you will need to see a different article and follow the video there.